Hey everyone, good to see you. Uh, I am here with two incredible guitars by the Canadian luthier Martin Blackwell. Now because I have these two instruments here on hand, I thought I would make a video and a recording sort of comparing the two guitars. Now of course they are spruce and cedar over here. Um, and this video is going to be very similar to the one I made with two Stephen Walter guitars, which did very well on YouTube and sort of encouraged me to make more videos like this. You can check that out by clicking somewhere in this video or in the description. Let's go ahead and just start with some basic information about each of these two guitars. So this guitar, the Cedar guitar, is number 172 and it was built in 2019. And then this spruce guitar is number 205 and it was built in 2022. So there's about a three year difference and this is a very new guitar and this one is very broken in. Uh, now, obviously they both have a different wood on the top. This is a spruce top and this is a cedar top, but it gets more complex than that. This one over here is a spruce cedar double top, meaning the beneath layer underneath this spruce is a layer of cedar. And this one, the cedar guitar, is exact opposite. It's a cedar top and spruce underneath in the underneath layer. And then there's something in between. Now, originally when Dahman and Wagner created the double top guitars, uh, they were using Nomex in between the two layers. Nowadays, a lot of luthiers, not all of them, but a lot of luthiers are using balsa in between uh, the two layers of wood. And this guitar, the cedar uh, Blackwell here, is balsa interior, right? So between those two layers of double top, there is a thin layer of balsa wood. Whereas this guitar is something very unique, which I hadn't even heard of before, but Martin is uh, using nowadays in his instruments. This spruce guitar combines the two materials. So actually down here in the lower belt, it's balsa, and up here in the upper belt, it's Nomex. Uh, so I won't try to scientifically explain why that is, but just know that is the difference. Now, as I turn these guitars around to look at the back and sides, um, you'll see that they both have really dark pieces of wood. The spruce on the left here has a very nice piece of Indian rosewood. It may look bright to you, but you know, it's, very, it's, it's really quite dark when you uh, take it away from bright natural light. And the wood on the right here on the cedar Blackwell is Ziracote, which I think just looks incredible on this instrument. I also wanted to mention, just like in the Stephen Walter spruce versus cedar comparison video, I'm going to be playing a passage on one instrument and then playing that exact passage on the next. I'm not going to weave in and out of them to where you hear a complete piece. It's going to be repeated sections. There's a lot of reasons why I like doing it that way, but mainly it's so that you can just hear the same exact passage backwards and forwards. Of course, the difficulty with recording a video like this is that you have to try to play it exactly the same each time. So that can be difficult, but I hope you guys enjoy. And please let me know below in the comments which guitar you prefer for which piece. Um, the comments on the Stephen Walter Spruce vs. Cedar video were so interesting. I found myself agreeing and disagreeing with a lot of people in the comments. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and I just love hearing everyone's perspective. Um, and geez, I feel so fortunate to have both of these instruments. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.
right, thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope this video was interesting to you in some way. Um, and as always, it's so interesting to see your feedback on videos like this. What pieces did you prefer which guitar on? And uh, what was your overall favorite? Um, I'll tell you that I switch back and forth between these every day. I'm not sure which one's mine. So uh, I think the uh, floor is open for discussion. Again, thank you so much for spending your time here on this video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, it really helps these videos get seen. Um, thank you again. Bye-bye.